Welcome to the familiarization and planning series of online recordings designed to introduce curriculum leaders and teachers to the Australian Curriculum Version 9 Mathematics for Prep to Year 6. In this first session in the series, we will be focusing on the Understand This Learning Area section of the curriculum before moving on to discuss curriculum elements in session two. The final session in the series will address planning considerations for the Australian Curriculum version nine. We look forward to working with you throughout the series. The QCAA acknowledges the traditional owners and traditional custodians of the lands on which we meet today. We pay our respects to their elders and their descendants who continue cultural and spiritual connections to country and we extend that respect to Aboriginal people and Torres Strait Islander people here today. We thank them for sharing their cultures and spiritualities and recognise the important contribution of this knowledge to our understanding of this place we call home. Our learning goal today is to understand implications of changes to the Australian Curriculum Version 9 Mathematics to plan for the transition in your own context. You will know you have been successful if you have more knowledge about the intent and structure of version nine of the mathematics curriculum and can identify actions for planning in your school. This recording is accompanied by a worksheet for you to record your responses to the activities and reflection points throughout the presentation. If you have not already done so, please take some time now to download or print the session one outline resource. Outlined on screen, you can see there are three parts in this session. We will begin with an overview of the Australian Curriculum Version 9. We will then unpack the Understand This Learning Area section of the curriculum, highlighting the changes in the revised curriculum. Finally, we will consider what these changes mean for you in your context and start formulating some next steps to take following the session. We'll start by orienting ourselves to the process of moving to a new curriculum and the purpose and structure of Australian Curriculum Version 9. Knowing what drives our curriculum helps us to contextualise mathematics and transition our programs to the new version. Firstly, let's consider what the process of moving to Australian Curriculum Version 9 might look like in your context. You may have identified a process like the one outlined on screen now. This might mean that you want to reflect on current programs to identify strengths, limitations and opportunities. Review and audit your current programs against the revised curriculum to discern what is the same and what will be different from your current practice. Ultimately, once you have completed your reflection and auditing, you can start to make some decisions about how much you need to refine realign, reimagine or remove from your current programs to align with the new curriculum. This session will help you frame up the work that needs to be done to make sure you and your colleagues are ready for the change. We are going to be looking at the specific elements of the curriculum that will need to be considered for your teaching, learning and assessment. Keep your current programs in mind as we work through these elements. Think about the challenges and opportunities of version 9 for your school context. Let's start that process now by reflecting on your current programs and evaluating what you want to keep and what you might like to change. Therefore, your first action today is to reflect on those elements that you know are working well. Can you still see the place for them in version 9 curriculum for mathematics? those parts of your program that you are looking for an opportunity to review and how can version 9 curriculum for mathematics support you to make these adjustments in your own programs. As we navigate the changes in Australian curriculum version 9 for mathematics, try to keep these reflections front of mind. Let's turn our attention to the curriculum itself. While there are changes in Australian curriculum version 9, the three-dimensional interrelated structure of the Australian curriculum has not changed as part of the review. The diagram on screen visually represents these three dimensions. The Australian curriculum consists of eight learning areas with mathematics indicated in orange. Then there are seven general capabilities. 
literacy, numeracy, digital literacy, critical and creative thinking, personal and social capability, intercultural understanding, and ethical understanding. You'll notice a name change of the ICT general capability to digital literacy to reflect current understandings in the field. The general capabilities have been refined with changes to elements, sub-elements, and continua. And finally, there are three cross-curriculum priorities, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander histories and cultures, Asia and Australia's engagement with Asia, and sustainability. When reflecting on how you are going to align your current plan for teaching and learning to version 9, consider what opportunities exist to make connections across these three dimensions. Now that we know where mathematics is in the three-dimensional representation of the curriculum, let's look at its structure, which helps us to organise our teaching and assessment for mathematics. The changes, especially in the language and grouping of ideas, help to sharpen our understanding of what mathematics is. Let's break down these main changes now. The organisation of the Australian curriculum in version 8.4, represented on the left, was in two parts. Understanding how the learning area works, followed by learning area curriculum. Moving across to version 9 on the right, we can see that the changes, especially in the language and grouping of ideas, help to sharpen our understanding of what mathematics is. Each learning area in version 9 now follows a similar structure, allowing for more consistency when planning. Version 9 begins with the Understand This Learning Area section, which provides detail of the intent and a snapshot of the structure. Following Understand This Learning Area is the Curriculum Elements section, which shows the content associated with mathematics. Other variations between version 8.4 and version 9 are indicated by Changes Struck Out. In bolded and orange are new sections. The key considerations and key connections. These will, at different times, influence planning, and we will talk through them in detail later in the session. Take a moment to review the changes in structure that we have just discussed. Understanding the structure of version 9 and the relationship between the parts is a key factor in strengthening our understanding of our learning area and the changes within it. What will be important for you to consider as you begin planning for the revised curriculum. We will now move on to our core focus for this first session. It is the Understand This Learning Area section of the curriculum. On screen in the shaded box, you will see the sections that form Understand This Learning Area. We will work through each of these sections throughout the presentation. We will focus on the curriculum elements in the next session of the Familiarization and Planning series. Our final session in the series will focus on planning using all of these aspects of the curriculum. As we work through each element of the Mathematics Understand This Learning Area section and the changes we can see in version 9, let's keep our process in mind. Here is where we can begin to audit our current programs and consider what is the same in Australian Curriculum version 9 and what is different. You may wish to construct your own note-taking template, like the one indicated on screen, to help you identify the similarities and differences you notice in Australian Curriculum Version 9 for Mathematics as we move through the presentation. A table has been provided for you on the Session 1 outline resource referred to at the start of this recording. We will begin by focusing on the intent of the learning area. To do this, We'll explore the introduction, rationale and aims. Together, these capture why we teach mathematics and reflect the vision and goals for education in Australia. In doing this, it's important to consider the relationship of the rationale and aims to the goals of education in Australia, as expressed in the Alice Springs Mabantwi Education Declaration 2019. The vision is for a world-class education system that encourages and supports every student to be the very best they can be, no matter where they live or what kind of learning challenges they may face. With this in mind, the Declaration sets out two distinct but interrelated goals. 
The first of these goals is that the Australian education system promotes excellence and equity. Therefore, as we are planning for Australian Curriculum Version 9, we want to consider how our plans can enhance equity for all stakeholders and promote the highest quality teaching, learning and assessment experiences for our students. The second goal from the Mabantwi Education Declaration states that all young Australians become confident and creative individuals, successful lifelong learners and active and informed members of the community. The three dimensions of the curriculum and the mathematics content present wonderful opportunities to engage with this goal. For example, students are encouraged to become confident, proficient and effective users and communicators of mathematics who can investigate, represent and interpret situations in their personal and work lives, think critically and make choices as active, engaged and numerate citizens. So, what role does mathematics play in enacting these goals? Let's start by considering the rationale and aims. Go to the link indicated in the companion session document where you found this recording. Alternatively, Use your mobile device and the QR code on screen to access the rationale and aims. Review the rationale and the aims, identifying the big ideas and or main points. Then, reflect on your school's current mathematics plans and the goals of the Education Declaration. Think about what you want to see in your school's curriculum plans for mathematics moving forward. Please pause the session recording to allow some time for you to review the rationale and aims for mathematics. Now that we have looked at the intent of mathematics, let's turn our attention to exploring the structure of the content descriptions. This structure provides a way to consider the distinctive contribution mathematics makes to Australia's goals for education and conceptualise the nature of the learning area. Starting with the familiar structure of version 8.4, let's begin to understand the new structure of version 9. In the version 8.4 mathematics curriculum, the four proficiency strands of understanding, fluency, problem solving and reasoning were used as the main organising structure. The proficiencies were signified by the verbs used throughout the curriculum and described the actions students engaged in when learning and using the content. The proficiencies are the breadth and depth of mathematical action and were detailed in the year level descriptions. Underneath the proficiency strands were the content strands. The content was organised under three paired strands, including number and algebra, measurement and geometry, statistics and probability, and 13 substrands. In version 9, there has been a number of structural changes, specifically to the mathematical proficiencies and content strand organisation. In version 9, the proficiency strands of understanding, fluency, problem solving and reasoning are now key considerations, which is a new addition to the curriculum that we will discuss further shortly. However, the proficiencies are still signified by the verbs used throughout the curriculum and embedded within the content descriptions and achievement standards. The content strands have all been separated, so there are now six strands rather than three. These six strands are number, algebra, measurement, space, statistics, and probability. The strand of measurement and geometry in version 8.4 has been split into measurement and space. Geometry has been replaced by space. Within version 9, the substrands have been removed. The content descriptions now sit under each of the six strands. Now that we have examined the structural changes in mathematics, let's move on to the final section of Understand This Learning Area, which provides support and advice for teachers when planning for the revised curriculum in mathematics. On screen are the key considerations for mathematics. The key considerations form the how-to section that complements the structure for the elements of the mathematics curriculum that can be used to assist planning. The two key considerations in grey 
protocols for engaging First Nations Australians and meeting the needs of diverse learners are in all learning areas. The three key considerations in orange are specific to mathematics and we will now take a look at them. Let's start with proficiency in mathematics. The mathematical proficiencies describe how content is explored and developed. That is, the thinking and doing of mathematics and how they are enacted within the teaching and learning and assessment. The proficiencies describe the actions of students when learning and using the content of the learning area and are signified by the verbs used in the achievement standard and content descriptions. Due to the cumulative and recursive nature of the mathematics curriculum, similar to how the mathematics concepts build in sophistication across the years of schooling, so do the mathematical proficiencies. Another key consideration that is new to the revised curriculum is mathematical processes. Mathematical processes are problem solving and investigation processes that students learn to use and that draw upon students' process skills and proficiency in mathematics in an interconnected way. They refer to the thinking, reasoning, communicating, problem solving and investigation process skills involved in working mathematically. Version 9 of the mathematics curriculum outlines four mathematical processes that students use to find solutions to problems. The mathematical processes of mathematical modelling, computational thinking, statistical investigation, probability experiments and simulations are mathematical problem solving and investigation processes that students learn to use in mathematics and build in sophistication across the years of schooling. Mathematical modelling is introduced in Year 1. You will find reference to these processes in the achievement standards and content descriptions from Year 1 through to Year 10. The other three processes are introduced in Year 3. Like mathematical modelling, you will find reference to these processes in the achievement standards and content descriptions from Year 3 through to Year 10. And finally, new to Version 9, is the specific reference to the use of digital tools through the key consideration of computation, algorithms and the use of digital tools in mathematics to ensure the revised curriculum is contemporary and world class. This consideration has been included as the mathematics rationale identifies that the modern world is influenced by ever expanding computational power, digital systems, automation, artificial intelligence economics and data. In version 9 of the mathematics curriculum, therefore, digital tools have been included in some content descriptions and mentioned in the achievement standards from year 4 onwards to support students in developing this capacity. Additionally, the use of digital tools relates to and addresses elements of the digital literacy general capability and includes digital hardware, software, platforms and resources to develop and communicate learning, ideas and information. Another new aspect of the revised curriculum is the key connections. These can support you to reflect on how you are going to transition your current plan for teaching and learning and consider what opportunities exist to make connections across the three dimensions of the curriculum. This section in the new curriculum supports teachers to embed relevant general capabilities and cross-curriculum priorities into teaching and learning experiences in mathematics. Integration of the learning area content, general capabilities and cross-curriculum priorities can enrich and deepen student engagement. The QCAA resources on screen now identify the connections ACARA has made between learning areas and the general capabilities. Level overviews provide an overview of where the general capabilities can be developed or applied in the content descriptions. There are also continua for five of the general capabilities, which provide more detailed information about the capabilities in the form of elements and sub-elements. This resource provides a sequence of learning for the capability from Level 1 to Level 6. This can be helpful for teachers when catering for students with diverse needs. The QCAA has also developed advice documents 
to support teachers to use the literacy and numeracy progressions. These progressions provide observable indicators of increasing complexity in literacy and numeracy, which can help teachers to develop targeted teaching and learning plans for students who are working at, above and below year level expectations. These resources can support teaching teams to interrogate connections between the general capabilities and the learning area content in more detail. The final section in Understand This Learning Area is resources, which is another aspect that can help inform your planning for version 9. An example of a resource located here is outlined on screen now. It is the Mathematics Glossary and can be found in the Resources section of the ACARA website. The glossary definitions provide a shared understanding of how a term is intended to be understood in the curriculum. What are the key messages from this section of the curriculum that have resonated with you? Take a moment now to note down your key messages from this session. Now that we have unpacked the Understand This Learning Area information, let's take a moment to recap what we have done in this first session in the series so that you can consider what your next steps might be in the transition to version 9 of the mathematics curriculum. Here is the summary of the sections of the curriculum we have covered in this first session. We have considered the intent of the curriculum by reviewing the introduction, rationale and aims. Next, we examined the structural changes for mathematics. And finally, we reflected on some new elements to the curriculum by reviewing the key considerations, key connections and resources associated with mathematics. To finish this session, let's revisit the task we set ourselves as we began exploring the Understand This Learning Area section. What have you learned in this first session about what is the same and what is different in Mathematics version 9? Consider how the changes will inform your planning by reviewing the similarities and differences you have noted throughout the session. What actions will you take to help prepare your plans for version 9? For example, you may identify the following actions to support the transition to version 9 in your context. Download the Understand This Learning Area document and read through the key considerations. Or, organise time in your next staff meeting to review the structural changes in Teams. Pause the session recording at this point to reflect on the notes you have taken throughout the session. Identify two to three actions you will now take to plan for Mathematics version 9 in your context. As the session comes to a close, let us reflect on our learning goal and success criteria. We have built our knowledge about Australian Curriculum version 9 for Mathematics and identified some actions for planning in our particular school context. Before you begin the next session in the series, you may wish to access the location noted on screen to extend your curriculum knowledge. There are many resources located here that will support you in planning for the transition in your context. These can be accessed by going to the landing page for mathematics and then clicking on the Australian Curriculum version 9 tab. That concludes the first session and our discussion on the Understand This Learning Area section of Australian Curriculum version 9 for mathematics. In the next session of our series on familiarisation and planning, we will be discussing the Curriculum Elements section displayed on screen. If you have any queries regarding the information from this session, please reach out to the K-10 Curriculum and Assessment branch with the contact details noted on screen. We thank you for your time in completing this session and look forward to working with you in Session 2 of the Familiarisation and Planning series. If you don't do so already, we recommend you follow QCAA on one or more social media platforms to stay in touch with us and to find out about upcoming resources and professional learning.